what should you take to chemotherapy? So chemotherapy is, of course, one of the three main treatments of cancer, along with radiotherapy and surgery. Um, chemotherapy can take quite a long time, especially if you're a late stage cancer patient like me. Um, I've had chemotherapy where it's just involved hours and hours and hours of drips. Um, as a late stage patient, you're often on a combination of several different chemotherapy drugs and maybe molecular targeted therapy as well, given as a drip. And in, in between each chemo drip, there's um, typically going to be another drip to kind of clear the blood vessel. It's quite important for safety. Before the chemotherapy starts, you may have, um, depending on, on the drugs, there may be various pretreatments required. Uh, you're typically going to have a an anti-allergy drip. Um, maybe a steroid drip as well for the fatigue. You may have um, there are various kind of vitamin drips that slow down the breakdown of the chemotherapy that allows the chemotherapy to stay in the body for longer, which means you can use a lower dose and get uh, still get a good effect. Um, so when you first go to chemotherapy, you know, it could be there for a long old day and you may do this every couple of weeks or even possibly every week for months, forever, depending on your situation. It's late stage patients who are often on chemo for life. So what are some useful things to, to take? Um, I personally believe in taking a lot of things, at least initially. And after a while, you'll work out what you need and what you don't need. Um, but it's just nice to have stuff with you because you're in quite um, an unpleasant situation, potentially. Uh, and it's, it's better to have stuff and not need it than to need it and not have it with you. Um, so one thing is uh, you might want some extra clothes um, because, yeah, you might be sick or whatever um, that happens kind of really infrequently now I, I believe with chemotherapy because the anti vomit drugs are now really good um, and I think um, chemotherapy nurses and, and other clinical workers are, are, are really kind of on top of um, dealing with it which is good but still um, if you have a colostomy bag, you want to take colostomy supplies um, because you might get an upset stomach and need to change your colostomy bag. You might want maybe a towel um, again because yeah, you you know you, you might need to kind of clean up, but also um, you might just want it for comfort. Uh, Hospitals will usually have towels and blankets and stuff, obviously, but you may want to bring your own. Um, I never, ever go into a hospital setting without a notebook. I think taking notes is really important. Uh, your chemotherapy, you're going to have a consultation before the chemotherapy because you have to check that you can actually have chemotherapy on that day. So a notebook is, is really essential for taking notes. Um, you may also be visited um, by the pharmacologist, pharmacist, whatever, um, who's going to be explaining about side effects of the drugs, um, managing the side effects, taking drugs to deal with the side effects. And of course, well not of course, but uh, some chemotherapies are taken orally, not as a drip. So you may have some drips at the hospital and then be given tablets that you're going to take at home for a week or two weeks or whatever. So you may have the, the pharmacologist explaining about that. So notebook is really, really important. Um, and of course you may have some interesting thing you want to write down. Um, 
you may want to exchange contact details with other patients because um yeah getting to know other patients is uh so it's a survival trait more than anything else um getting connected to other patients and sharing the information is really really vital which is of course why i'm doing these videos um i found taking mp3 player is really useful uh you may just want to have something so you can listen to relaxing music um i personally listen to podcasts because i feel it's a better use of my time um more on that later um book to read is good as well or magazines generally better than books i think because it's kind of lighter reading um you may be quite sleepy during chemotherapy uh some chemotherapy makes your vision blurry so reading may be a bit difficult at some points um yeah sometimes i've i've been able to do lots of reading during chemotherapy and sometimes i haven't depending on the, the condition that I'm in at the time. Um, tablet computer is great or a laptop or whatever so you can watch stuff, possibly even do work. Um, yes, yeah, so having like a smartphone or, or whatever so you can maybe be texting people is, is really good. Um, food and drink, really important because you might be in there for quite a long day. Um, it's good to bring a selection of foods because you um, you might not want to eat what you think you want to eat, if you see what I mean, um, on the day. Chemotherapy can kind of muck up your taste. Just being in that hospital environment might change your sense of taste a bit or put you off a, kind of a favourite food. Um, yeah, you probably don't want to be like taking hot food into the chemo ward. Uh, you may be... a told by the nurses it's it's against policy i mean different hospitals are going to have different policies anyway um but yeah lots of drink is really important because um in a hospital environment the air might be a bit dry i find chemotherapy wards tend to be quite hot um i think that's for two reasons one is that uh you yeah you might feel the cold more because of the chemotherapy um, and the other kind of obvious thing is is lots of people taking chemotherapy are in their later years of life and just generally going to feel the cold a lot more. Um, and, you know, some cancer patients don't have a lot of fat and muscle on them as well. Um, taking candy or sweets, as we say, um, I think is really important. You might just want some kind of hard candy to suck on. Uh, you might want chewing gum. Uh, chewing gum is, is a really powerful way to relax. I found that I can't really manage strong minty chewing gum during chemotherapy. Uh, I found much better to have like a mild kind of fruit flavoured thing. Um, but yeah, kind of candy, chocolate, stuff like that, very helpful. Um, I've noticed people taking kind of little games or puzzle books and things like that. Um, and yeah, my final two recommendations um, that I feel extremely strongly about, um, very personal, but I find taking something to study is that's, that's the game change of chemotherapy. So um, <clears throat> Cancer can feel like that. Like the cancer treatments are really time consuming. It feels like your time is being stolen from you. But if you can take something to study, so that you come out of your half a day in hospital, a day in hospital, um, actually having done something, and kind of bettering yourself in some way, uh, that's really important. Um, depending on the hospital, you may really have, a, you know, a whole day in hospital, right? Because Typically, you may have to have a blood test and urine test on arrival, wait for the results, see the oncologist. They decide if you're healthy enough to do the treatment that day. They may have a lot of things to talk about um, with you. You may have lots of things to ask them. 
um, in, a, in a busy teaching hospital there might be quite a wait to get your place on the chemo ward then you might have a wait for a drugs to arrive as I said you may be having multiple drips um, so it, it can be it can be a full-on day you know you may be having kind of three hours of drips may take five hours um, with the various waits waiting time so if you can do something to kind of make use of that time that's really good um, and the other thing I'd say is bring gifts for the nurses um, I yeah just always try to you know if I'm going to surgery um, yeah bring stuff for the staff uh, you need to check about the hospital policy but yeah it's um a really big thing um they generally appreciate like healthy snacks and stuff um some of them probably appreciate sugary snack sugary snacks and stuff as well because they're um you know working very long hours um or you know stuff that they can give to their kids or whatever um so yeah, those two things, study materials and, and gifts to the nurses, can make chemotherapy a lot more pleasant. Okay, I hope that's been useful. Um, chemotherapy is not nice, but uh, there are things you can do to make stuff better. Uh, if you have any recommendations of stuff to take for chemo um, or any ideas about making chemotherapy more pleasant please uh, share them in the comment section and um, any questions post them there as well thanks a lot